When Tesla reported disappointing deliveries and production on Tuesday, I think it really raised a red flag for a couple of other companies, and that is Lucid and Rivian. These are the companies that were supposed to follow in Tesla's footsteps. They were supposed to be the next big EV plays, but they've been burning billions and billions of dollars worth of cash. They're losing money on every single vehicle they sell. They seem to have their own demand problems, and now we're seeing that Tesla, the leader in the market, is having demand problems. Not only is its production down, but deliveries are down, and the gap between in production deliveries, meaning the inventory that's building on Tesla's balance sheet, hit a record in the first quarter of 2024. There is very clearly a demand problem in electric vehicles right now, and that is terrible news for Rivian and Lucid. So I wanna dig into some of the numbers, what we learned from Tesla, and then what things look like for Rivian and Lucid, because their margins were already really bad, their free cash flow was already really bad, and it might get worse by the end of 2024. My name is Travis Holliam. Thanks for watching Asymmetric Investing. Please subscribe here on YouTube for all my content. And thanks to this video sponsor, The Motley Fool. If you go to fool.com slash ASYM, they'll give you their top 10 stocks to buy right now. So let's start with the information that we got this that we got on Tuesday from Tesla. Here's the official release from Tesla. You can see that in the quarter, they produced 433,371 vehicles, delivered 300. 86,810 vehicles to customers. So there was a big gap between, between what they produced and what they actually delivered to customers. Now I'm gonna put some of this into context because I think the trends are important to see for Tesla. You can see here that Tesla's production has actually kind of flatlined over the last six or so quarters. Deliveries are actually starting to decline. This was the worst quarter in six quarters for Tesla and this just shows that this may not be a growth company like it once was. But the thing that I think makes these numbers so alarming is the fact that Tesla has been reducing prices over this period of time. So one of the ways that they've been competing with some upstarts like Lucid, which I think would be the most direct competitors, because if you're looking at something like a Model 3, maybe Lucid is something that you're considering. Well, they've just been continually lowering prices quarter after quarter, and that has not resulted in an increase in deliveries, in an increase in demand. And so what does that tell you about companies like Lucid and Rivian? What are they gonna do if there's not enough demand for their products? Are they gonna be able to lower prices and get people to buy them? Maybe not. And that's really alarming, an alarming position for a lot of these electric vehicle manufacturers because it doesn't seem that price alone is going to drive more adoption for electric vehicles, at least not yet. Margins also continue to decline. And this is tied to the pricing for Tesla's vehicles. It's tied to the utilization of their manufacturing plants. But it also means that Tesla is not going to be as profitable in the first quarter, likely as it was, particularly in 2022. That was when operations really peaked for Tesla. It was when a lot of the excitement hit for Rivian and Lucid, that's when their stock prices peaked. And if there's no upside for these companies with a 25, 30% gross margin, which I think a lot of investors were expecting, what are you gonna be looking at? You're gonna be looking at traditional auto margins, which means gross margins in the 10 to 15% range, operating margins in the mid single digits. That's just not nearly as attractive as you would think for auto manufacturers. And these companies have their own issues. So why is Tesla's delivery numbers so important for Rivian and Lucid? Well, the answer comes down to the fact that these companies are losing so much money. Let's look at the cash flow numbers for Lucid first. And you can see the company burned about $4.9 billion in cash from operations in 2023. Free cash flow was a negative $5.9 billion. So the company's losing money and the problems get worse because Rivian said that they were not going to increase their production in 2024. What they're going to do is revamp their brand new facility to try to lower costs even further. And they're putting off, they're going to move the production that was planned for R2 in Georgia. They're going to move that back to the normal Illinois facility and put off expanding capacity in their Georgia capacity, in their Georgia facility. So they're also seeing that demand is a real problem. And so they're consolidating their production into one facility. The problem with that is they just simply don't have enough scale without that Georgia plant to reach profitability. You can run the numbers. It's going to be very, very difficult for them to make enough money to get to free cash flow positive. And if demand and pricing is going to be a challenge, then the situation gets even worse for Rivian. So this is going to be a really critical year for Rivian when it comes to demand and also 
their margins. They got to improve their cost structure because if they don't, they're going to run into financial problems. If the stock continues to drop, your options for financing, financing the business in the future continues to dwindle. And Lucid is in a very similar position. Thanks to our friends at The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Visit fool.com slash ASYM for the top 10 stocks to buy right now. This is a look at the exact same numbers from Lucid. You can see that free cash flow was a negative $3.4 billion. Negative operating cash flow was $2.5 billion. But the numbers are even more jarring because in 2023, the company only produced 8,400 vehicles. So I'm not sure how you get to profitability only producing 8,400 vehicles. And it doesn't seem like they have the demand anyways, much less the capacity to increase that to 50,000, 100,000 vehicles. So Lucid is in a very, very precarious situation because at the higher price point that they're trying to sell these vehicles, there doesn't seem to be nearly enough demand. At least Rivian is trying to move down that cost curve with a vehicle that seems to have a little bit of demand. They just haven't gotten to free cash flow positive. But these are fundamentally challenges that are similar for both of these companies. Now, I think what both companies ultimately need to do is look for alternatives sooner rather than later. If you get to the point where you're at the end of 2024 or into 2025 and your cash level is dwindling, maybe you need to raise additional cash. We see electric vehicle demand continue to fall. There's margin pressure from not only U.S. manufacturers like Tesla, but also Chinese manufacturers. There's a lot of trends that can go the wrong direction for these manufacturers because neither of them are planning to be profitable or free cash flow positive by the end of 2024. So what do you do? Well, one alternative is to try to sell yourself to one of the other automakers, one of the companies that's looking to expand into electric vehicles and maybe wants a compelling offering. I think Rivian could potentially sell itself to one of the other Detroit automakers. General Motors, Ford, Stellantis, these would be good buyers for Rivian. They could bring the cash and the cash flow from their businesses that is needed to actually expand into Georgia and build the R2 and the R3 there. Lucid obviously has investments from Saudi Arabia, and I think that's what a lot of investors think the potential, the eventual buyout partner would be there. But they're going to have they're going to have to find some sort of financing option because it doesn't seem like their business is going to be sustainable in the future. So a lot of questions for these companies. And as an investor, I think the right move is just to stay away from all of them. When a business is not moving in the right direction, when demand seems to have peaked, when margins start to fall, there is a reason that the auto business has been so difficult to make money over the last century, why there's only a handful of manufacturers that have survived. And now you have a company like Tesla that is getting more and more aggressive with its pricing. That's going to be bad news for all of the other EV makers, especially as more competition from both US companies and China comes to the market. So I just don't see. So I think the recent announcement from Tesla, their deliveries are actually starting to decline is the red flag that investors should need to avoid all of these stocks and lucid and rivian are probably set up for a bad 2024 as a result but what do you think leave your comments in the comment section below don't forget to subscribe to asymmetric investing thanks for watching everybody see you here next time